Gary, an eight-point loss to North Melbourne on a Saturday ended our four-game winning streak. Fair to say a disappointing day at the office. Yeah, it was, Sam. Two things generally change, I think, from a week-to-week -week basis, and that is obviously, one, the opposition, and also, two, your mental state. And during the week, I felt there was a fair bit of um, travelling OK, and it permeated over to our game, and North Melbourne was certainly the better side during the game and we left a lot of work for ourselves to do even still I guess in that last quarter but if your mental effort is not right then obviously that affects how hard you work on the day and yeah we just made some pretty average blues uh, we showed I think a little bit too much lair at times didn't do the fundamentals and um, yeah we lost a game that we should have probably won. We certainly had our opportunities to win the game, as you said, despite probably being down overall on our output from the previous few weeks. And 400 possessions as a team reflects that, doesn't it? So what do you think now are going to be some of the key focus areas for training this week? Not over-possess. Uh, 400 disposals for eight goals is a pretty poor return, let's be honest. And a lot of those handballs were for the sake of handballing. It wasn't constructive. It wasn't working towards our method. And obviously, missed shots on goal. You know, that was pretty poor as well. We had 50 inside 50s and there were certainly gettable goals. And again, I think there's a little bit of, I reckon I'm going pretty well and stick to the fundamentals. So we'll work on moving the ball with a little bit more precision. And also too, again, you know how we want to play, change the angles. We were very, very slow in changing the angles. We we're easy to play against, went down the line. And uh, our representation at times to have someone to kick the ball to, was quite often to their tools and we got outmarked defensively and we got outmarked offensively. On a positive note, uh, Lucas Cook, he was outstanding in defeat, wasn't he? 17 marks, it looks like he's really stepped up to the plate from a leadership standpoint season this, uh, this season so far in absence of you know someone like Brady Mychek who's been taken out of that defensive unit. Yeah, he was pretty good. I don't think how much we would have got beaten by if he didn't play. And young Ethan Phillips, I think, too, was pretty solid down there as well. So it just goes to show how much Cookie has matured. And when we can get the ball in his hands, generally something comes of it. But I think another weakness of ours on the weekend, too, is we had to try and start so many score launches from deep inside our defensive 50 and that doesn't give you any flow, any quick transition from defence to offence. So it's going to be another area that we'll work on during the week. Uh, and we've got seven days now to turn this all around, but it won't be easy as we find ourselves coming up against the high-flying uh, Casey Demons. Good to be at home again, though, and we can expect a, at least one change to the team, unfortunately, as we saw uh, Dylan Viojo Rainbow go down with a pretty serious ankle injury at this stage. Yeah, it looks like it, it could be syndesmosis, which seems to be something that's obviously coming into our game a lot more now, and they call it a high ankle sprain. And, yeah, Dill's just had a bit of a wretched run with uh, a quad over the summer, and then obviously his form has probably been so-so and we certainly get someone to come in and replace him and they can't help us if they're sitting in the grandstand as we know but we'll certainly make some changes we went in last week with an unchanged side that was about showing them that we we're confident in the team that we had but we've got some guys that have put together a pretty good block of form and they'll certainly be strongly considered well, Gary hard luck on Saturday but he's hoping for a quick and fruitful turnaround against the Demons this week all the best good on you mate thanks